We will scope something out. It's either going to be that fly machine or that cable. Machine. Oh, I start on the incline. I wouldn't mind starting on the incline one right there. Ooh. I usually only do it when I'm done, but it'd be nice to do it when I'm beginning. Yeah. Okay. Thought. Uh, 2022 Amp Fitness. There is one, not including our team. I think there might be three people over 200 pounds this week. Um, but me being the feature on Austin's video, I agree to come to this gym. That's actually pretty dope gym. I have a lot of pride here. It's just really frustrating because it's so crowded. And yeah, I really don't know what we're gonna start. I need a single. I don't know if I have to do it. Hold on. We're going to Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. No. You're going to peep the new Young LA? The code is. Code is. Code is I don't have a code yet. For now. It will happen, probably. Ain't no problem about it. It'll happen. I got playing on what I'm Not yet. <laughs> well, he's got to get in the rhythm. Um, I thought you were filming today. Huh? I thought you were filming today. No, I thought you were filming today. I am. <laughs> so, uh, so we're starting off this chest workout with some flies. Um, really, the idea behind that is just trying to get blood in the chest without going into a heavy press first. Some people think that you know it's going to take away from strength on your pressing, but you know if we were like trying to set a PR like a one rep max or something, then yeah, yeah, we wouldn't do supplies for it. But bodybuilding, we want to focus on um, like building and developing the chest. So this is kind of a good kind of pre-exhaustion, I guess you would say, before we actually get into the main thing. EAAs, strawberry lemonade, and then creatine, unflavored, code ACO. You could never juggle as a kid. I did have the, um, the balls for it. J you know, balls that made for juggling. Uh, I thought you meant like the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I never had the balls to juggle. Dude, it's hot in here. I don't know why it's so hot. I did two chest, two chest flies, and I'm sweating. Count those five steps together. Good. Yep. Yeah, like, do you do you ever feel your pec, or you, like your pec or shoulder, like hinging at the very bottom, like it's painful? Or is that just me? Yes, but then I get a better contraction when I do that. Especially yeah, yeah, no, I do. Like, when I'm towards the end, if I start going too deep on this machine, I feel yeah. it's, it's weird. It is. Uh, it's like, it's I didn't like know, it's away from I didn't, Yeah, I didn't know if it was just me or not.
Hey, here's a tip. This isn't from me, so I won't take credit for it. I was watching a C-Bomb video. He was training chest with uh, Hani. And he said to not tuck your chin. Like when you're finishing movements, don't tuck your chin. So keep it up, because this actually shortens your range of movement, is what he said. So ever since then, I've been trying to keep my head up when I'm pressing, and it helps so much better. Day one, this is before C-Bomb came along, saved the brand. So word is you're using code CBOM instead of code ACO. Duh, I think the whole nation's using code C -bomb. If I were to pick a code, I, I used to do Nick Loggers. Um, and then I got awkward. Um, I'd probably do Melissa Bumstead. So if she ever watches this, I'd probably use her code. What do you think? Eight reps. No more than eight. No more than eight. No less than five. No less than five. Oh. Mm. I don't see little Nas X anywhere on there. There's literally nothing about little Nas. <laughs> little white. You're probably too old. You're probably too young for little white. Little white? Yeah, boy. You can tell he still lives at his mom's house. What do you want to go to? Like, I'm thinking, this is five. Hey, okay. I can't Not do two five, five, five. Five. So, uh, I would just say two plates and a quarter. I want to do the whole add it up. I can do all that. Yeah. This needs to be your bread and butter for the next, like, year. Great. This is very good food. Because what, what are you, what are you dumbbell pressing right now? I don't know. What do you normally do? What like do you, one tens? Wait, what do you normally do? Like chest day, what do you normally do? Uh, I haven't been doing free weight presses. You're doing all this, all the pretty stuff? Yeah. Here we go. I'm trying to get that pump, man. Uh, I'm a big fan of like the prime machines, arsenal strength and all that. But like some, and, and this is even kind of more of a pretty wood movement, but with him, he can load so much on Smith Machine and just repeatedly do it over and over and over again. Same thing like with dumbbells. Like with him, I want him to, I told him I really want to do dumbbells and like just get the stabilizer and just work. As he gets stronger, like he just doesn't, he doesn't have a good chest in terms of genetics. So he just has to work a little harder. So where like some guys come in, pump up and get a crazy pump off of uh, prime press, he's actually going to have to dig and work and just build some tissue and that's going to come heavy weight. Here you go, complete press. Oh, that's good. Good, 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 good. Yeah. I feel like my pressing is going down. Get Pretty much every day. Because, yeah, I don't think you've been trying. I, know, I don't think you've been trying to improve your pressing. I think you've been trying to get a pump. Yeah. And so, yeah, when you come back to press, it's going to suck. Yeah, honestly, that's more because it's the confidence thing. If you're to do this right now and it buries you, you're gonna always hate the sound. I don't want that to happen. Good. Yeah. Two more. Go. One more. Come on, Warren. Tuck in a little bit more. Get a little bit more uh, Start going out here. You got some old arms. This is going to be miserable. 
Uh, you're, you're really wide. Uh, yeah, I want you to go down to 185. Bring your hands in closer. Um, so, and then two, I want you to work on when you unrack it, your hands are still like this. Sorry, like this. I need you to be like this, like you're punching. Okay. 2023, we gotta have, we gotta name it. For me? Yeah. Project Vika. Oh. Oh. Mm. Operation oh. Chest to Chin. Something cool. All right, in the Operation, oh. Operation oh. Top Shelf. What should we dedicate 2023 to for Austin's Chest? We need a cool name. We can start hashtagging. Someone come up with it. Hey. We call it <laughs> Project Top Shelf. Top Shelf. Like the whiskey. Do you drink whiskey? Uh, on occasion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Breathe. Machine. Touch my fingers. Yeah, don't smash my fingers. Touch it. Hey, that's some chest work right now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Drive out. Yeah. Plant One your more. feet. One more. Let's go. Let's go. Drive. Yes. You got more. You got more. Breathe and go down again. I got Smooth. you. Go. Nice. You know, like that? All day. Like, I promise this is going to get your chest to grow. If not, I'll give you your money back. What a deal. What a deal, this guy. This guy. Uh. Uh, no shit. If I were to pick, I guess if I were to take three supplements from Raw, uh, the Intra, the Raw Intra is probably their best product. Um, 25 grams of cluster dextrin. Um, you got D-ribose in it as well. It's a very good ingredient. Y'all look that up. Um, the, yeah, it's pretty good. I like the raw burn, the powder. Um, it's fucking awesome. It's not a ton of caffeine, but it's five grams of yohimine. It's got a thousand milligrams of quarantine in it. Um, it makes you sweat a very good amount. Um, don't worry about the turkesterone. I like the, uh, <laughs> I like the, um, is it Island Breeze, the EAA flavor? Tropical Punch. There's something that's like a pineapple something. Yeah. I think it might be Island Breeze. I don't know, it's really good. The EAAs are, are bomb. Uh, I think they're like $29.99 too. Very, very good. Those would be probably my three. I actually haven't had the, the Savage pre-workout. Um, I know. I haven't. I got that. I'm a stem, I'm a stem junkie. So the the raw the extreme three is is really strong on the but you got to stack it with the pump. Like you can't just take it by itself. Um, overall, it's very good products. Come on. 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 All day. Yeah. Five out. Yeah. Five out. Yes. Where's he at? Let's go. Where's he at? <laughs> Where's that motherfucker? <laughs> I'm gonna take one up. Big. Push it out for me, bro. The big thing you offer me that uh yeah has so many areas we want to sell and so it's like a little red cheese. You got a little bit of a go around and sell it as a drink one. Let me have that, that could be good. The exhale is good. Said you good. I love Lamp. I love Lamp. I love Lamp. <laughs> Rick, are you just pointing to random things and saying something? Yeah. Shut up. 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 Shut up.
I'm going to go in front of you. Drive, 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 drive. Let's go, one more. Five. Good. You guys hear about what happened to Liver King? Yeah, he's on steroids. How could he? Right? How could he do that? Who would have thought? I okay. thought he, I thought he was natty. I really did. Let's look up. This cycle's not that bad. Like it's, it's really. Did we say you could? Speak? You want to rate his substances he's taking? Yeah. yeah. Um. You know what all he was taking? Yeah. Deco. So you, yes, he was doing like what, like 200 milligrams of Deco, like what, 300 megs of test or something. And then wind straw. Yeah, he's doing 50 megs of wind straw a day. That, those aren't high numbers though. No, his doses just weren't really high. Like, how would you know? Dun, dun. <laughs> but like, so testosterone and Deco, like Deco is like joint support and stuff. I mean, he got, he's like in his 40s. Yeah. Right? So like his cycle made sense. He's running HGH. He's running like uh, all the peptides. The only thing that really didn't make sense was the wind straw, unless he's just like wanting that hardness or something for TV or like for interviews. Um, but the other stuff was like pretty reasonable for a forty-something-year-old guy. I think the issues was is he was just so like I'm natural. This is all from what I eat. Blah blah blah. Like anyone who ran a cycle does this kind of shit. We just had that. Fullness and hardness all the time. Like it just you can't really make it. You know? But I, I think that's where the problem is. It's not he's not doing anything crazy. Liver King. Um, I think you should run Primo next. It's very good compound. Big set. Time to bleed. Man. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Go. Go. Two more. Two more. Up. Yeah. That was really good. Superb job, son. Thank you, superb. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I needed that stuff too. Like, we should do some dips. Yeah. I can what get real freak nasty on the dip. You want machine. body weight? Um, no, that hurts oh, my okay. confidence yes. and my shoulders. So not too nasty. Uh, machine dips would yeah. be wonderful. Yeah. Let's do it. You want to do it with a four second negative? Yeah. Come on. Oxygen. Oxygen. Three. What is that? Oh my there. God. Oh my. I've been local, baby. Oh my I'm God. Local. Austin said we were filming. I ate one of those Gatorade bars and like three Rice Krispie treats. It's like 60 grams. And three meat. units of farm great growth. Okay, Ant. Cancel my move. Just start rolling. Yeah, yeah. like that. Going to the press machine up here. With push ups? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a 20. <sighs> <clears throat> Can't wait to go home and eat that brown beef. Fine, that's not fair. Boom! Chicken. Boom! Just chicken? Yeah. Uh, it's a cool single. Like a fresh yeah, cool bar. Thanks for helping, man. 130 pounds. Dude, uh, uh, like at least 19 of its are titty. They are the. They are the. They are the. They are the. Longest drop set. Uh, uh, 
What do you want from me? Yeah, hey, no, for real, that was a really good chest day. Like, it's the most I've ever seen your chest contract in a long time. It's very good. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Hit the shower. I kept, I kept thinking of uh, Larry Wheels and Bradley Martin, where he's like, contract, Brad, contract. Everybody wait by. Wave, wave by the juice box. Everybody wave by the juice box. But yeah, we got one in with Coach today. He's a busy man, so it's always nice to get workouts in with him. And uh, we're finishing up. We're gonna do one or two more things. Um, just go ahead and finish out triceps and probably pose a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's it for me today. We have a workshop on December 10th coming up for aftermath training. Um, some other brands are gonna be there. Yeah, it's gonna be at Olympus. Uh, Ambitious Threads, the company that I'm with, the clothing company, is gonna be there. Uh, I'm have some stuff from Raw. But yeah, we're uh, we're excited, finishing out the year strong, and that is it. Chest and triceps complete. That is a wrap. <laughs>